Boy, don't do that. That's that's too much. My dear Vilfo, I hope you don't mind if I join you for a short while. Your Grace, I was not expecting you. I want to thank you in person for helping me with my shipment. That, yes, I, I made all the arrangements earlier. I can promise you there'll be no more problems from our end. Excellent. I think this could be the start of a long and fruitful relationship. Speaking of which, may I pose a question? Yes, of course, anyone will. I was just curious. Why did you tell Countess Mondego 16 years ago that Edmond Dantes had been executed? Uh, I, I don't understand what, what, what on earth you're talking about. It's a perfectly simple question. How do you know these things? Uh -huh. That's, uh, that's quite enough. Oh, you, you, you don't understand. Dantes was accepting a letter from Napoleon. That was clearly treason. We both know he never delivered it. Packing a man off to prison with such knowledge is bad enough, but to tell us... Your Grace, I have no idea what is provoking this perverse discussion. Now I ask myself. What did my old friend Villefort stand to gain by telling Mercedes that Edmond Dantes is dead? The answer is absolutely nothing. Just as you say, nothing. So why? Yet my old friend, now chief prosecutor of France, doesn't gain from this lie. Well, who does? My dear Count, it's far too hot in here, and you're fully dressed. I think it's time we both left. I think the clearest beneficiary is Fernand Count Mondego. I don't understand what this Inquisition has to do with our business relationship. I'm about to tell you. Sit down, Mondego. I'm an ambitious man, and I have furthered these ambitions by scooping up Bonapartists. But now, with Napoleon on the loose, I find I have, shall I say, a thorn in my side. Once merely an irritation, now potentially lethal. Be lethal in turn? Well, the problem is such that I myself cannot attend to it. So, I have a proposition for you. How is your father? Alive, unfortunately. We share the same misfortune. Do you remember? Why is this door locked? I demand that you release me from this room at once. We just have no friend of mine. Your father was a loyal supporter of Napoleon, wasn't he? Possibly involved in plotting Napoleon's escape from Elba. Emperor, I'm soon! An inconvenient parent for an ambitious civil servant like yourself. But then he died, suddenly, and opportunely murdered again some 16 years ago. Emperor Napoleon. The murderer never apprehended. How hard did you look for him? You have no proof, no witnesses. You just have theories, it's just conjectures. On the contrary, I have Count Mondego. Young Mondego, why? Because your son lacked the courage. Mondego is the one who pulled the trigger. He'd never confess in a million years. You're right, he wouldn't, but you just have. <laughs> Your view for? You are under arrest for conspiracy to murder. You remember? Dantes? Courtesy for a gentleman. <laughs>